chairman, but I'm also running the meeting tonight because John is away on vacation, so to speak, so he's remoting in. Looks relaxed. First up on the agenda, we have a actually approval of the minutes. Has anybody, everybody had a chance to review those? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. First, those were moved. I need to know. Uh, Lee made the motion. Carol seconded. I think okay, seconded too. I'm not sure. And first, we have 34 South Street. Uh, good, good evening. I'm Niles Digger from Genius Consulting Engineers. How are you? Good. Would you uh, do you want to present, or you want me to pull the plan up? Uh, if you, if that's completely up to you. I have it up on my screen. If you would give me the ability to share, I would absolutely share it. John, do you have anything? No, he's uh, reviewed it with me. I've, I've discussed it with him prior to the meeting, and everything looks good. I recommend approval. And just for the record, this is just the general stormwater permit only. There are no wetland regulations on this piece of property. I got a question for the uh, the drains. Would you say for the 
five inch of uh, five inch flood. Ten years ten storm. Year storm for the roof drains. That's ten years. That's just for the roof drains itself. Right, just for the container. That's just that's not considering anything else on the property as in um, driveway. Anything else for anything? John, how is the pitch for is the driveway? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just or saying, I thought, I, like, what about like the 100-year flood? What's that? That doesn't have anything to do with this? I, I, I can't make out uh, who's speaking. I apologize. It's fine, you know. It's fine. No, I just want to know, because that's the first time I've heard of the 10-year, like, 5-inch for the, just the drains flood for the terrains five inches over ten year period that's new to me at least I think it's new to me from hearing it John do you have any comment on the roof <laughs> drain size for maybe I'm talking jibber jabs but I don't think he's hearing you maybe I'm talking to you so I'm not sure uh, because it's really hard to hear um, anybody other than you. So um, the questions were about the the size of the roof the roof drain and whether it would meet just a ten year or whether because we're having storms. I think what Lee's getting to is larger size storms. Yeah. All right. So these are uh, what uh, <clears throat> typically have been approved by the commission in the past, and the theory is that there is a an overflow. So that if you had a hundred year storm it would run out on over the ground and as you can see um, there's plenty of lawn area that will be on this property that will disperse it and, and allow it to absorb or not become an impact on the on the street system so, so that's the theory behind that if, if it was a real small lot we'd want a little bit bigger storage area so why is it say 10 year flood for a five inch for the drains? It didn't say anything about a hundred year flood. So Lee's question is basically meeting a 10 year and not the hundred year or yeah, and the reason for it. Can you answer that yeah, one? Uh, uh, so typically, typically uh, you, you have to control the 10 year storm and you just have to uh, with the 100 year storm, you have to prove that you don't have any impacts to the. Okay. I mean, it. <laughs> nope. Sorry about that one, guys. <laughs> Not sure why it's
Julie, what you're trying to get at is um, the size of the pipes. Well, they should be different for a hundred year. I think we should put in hundred year flood into the wording of the. of what we're saying here, instead of the ten-year, because... So if we put that in, what would, what would they have to do differently? I'm going to ask him. Oh, okay. That can be done. Finally back, I think. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, sorry about that. Not sure what happened. All right, we're back. Any other questions we got to that, Lee? On the so we couldn't hear what you said on that. Could you repeat it? Repeat yourself, please. Yeah. So, so typically, uh, with, you know, with stormwater management uh, practices, um, usually they you have to control up to the ten-year storm event, and then you have to show that you're not impacting any resource areas within a hundred, you know, uh, up to the hundred-year storm. We're over two hundred feet from. Uh, you know, from the river down off of South Street. Um, so I, it was our it was our uh, understanding and common practice that we would store the ten years left. So the way the store so the only small the only portion the remaining land on the property is gonna stay grass just like it is. Um, so all the all the disturbed areas will be grass um, just as you know just as we're proposing and the only new impervious would be the small amount of driveway. So right now it's going to just going to be a single family house, right? That's correct. Future could be another could be a garage put on to that, right? I'm sorry. In the future you could it would be able to put a garage onto that property with no problem, right? We're actually proposing a garage. Okay. So could you There's put a garage on the plan that currently instead oh I can't see that. If it's so, uh, instead of the ten, can you put it at a hundred for the f um, <coughs> flood zone, hundred year flood zone? Would that be a possible thing to do? And if it isn't, why? I I don't. I guess it depends on what the commission would like. I I, I can do whatever the commission likes. Would you have um, to do anything different yeah. with the plans? I'm sorry. Would you have to do anything different with the plans? Yeah, we'd have to resize the uh, roof drains. Resize. Well, I would like to see the 100-year 100, 100 flood put on it just for 
future purposes. But that's just my opinion. I don't know how the other, the rest of the um, commission feels. Anybody else want to weigh in? Well, Niles, do I hear you saying you're not required to uh, do the hundred year because it's not near, not near the um, wetlands? We, yeah, we are not within any wetland resource area. Is that correct? And so you're not required to do a hundred year. That's correct. Unless we. We're. Uh, we're that's correct. I'd like to see it put on there just for the future, considering where, you know, who knows what could happen later on. I think that's a good idea. Ten years. Ten years, Steve, okay. So, Carol, would you, would you say, Carol? I'd like the hundred. Okay. So All right, then I'll entertain a motion to require a hundred year uh, plan for the rain. Roof drains. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, any other questions, comments? All right. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. I'll make a motion to close the hearing. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved, and I'll entertain a motion to issue a General stormwater permit with condition. I'll make that motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Next we have 10 Hartshorn Street, and this is for a replacement of a failed septic system within 100 feet of a bordering vegetative wetland. Ready to go. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Clare from Collins Civil Engineering Group. Um, I'm here today for a septic repair, an NOI on a septic repair for 10 Hearthstone Street. Um, if I if I may, can I clarify something yep. first for that last meeting? Yep. Um, the hundred year storm is an enormous storm, and it's going to take a lot of infiltrators to 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 put in probably triple or even quadruple the amount. Uh, what stormwater management requires us to do is to take either one inch over every square foot of impervious or a half inch over every square foot of impervious. And we have to, that's our water quality volume. So if you have your driveway, your, your house, your roof, you take all that square footage, you multiply it by either one inch if you're a high, uh, like if you're a gas station or if you're a high pollutant, or half inch if you're not in an ACEC or like that like that project there and that's what you have to infiltrate that's that's by the state so that ends up being like a two-year storm or less uh, to say a hundred year storm um, is providing a hundred times more infiltration and water quality volume than the state requires so it's not really done by year storm it's done by how much impervious you have and whether you're, not, or you're in an environmental sensitive area, either one inch per square foot or half inch per square foot. And I can give you guys the regulations on that. Um, that's basically how you design roof drains. So it's been like that for how long? Since 93, when the 95 since the regulations came out. And the weather's changed since then though too. Uh, this is a state code. I understand, but we have a lot, yep. we have bylaws though too. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, a hundred, a hundred-year storm is is going to be a um, substantial amount to do. 
you know, how much do you figure out, how much rain do you think in a sta substantial amount in a rain? Does it have to be that bad? The, a hundred year storm is seven inches in 24 hours. That's okay, huge. So we, we, so we can get, yeah. within a couple of days or days, so we can get five inches of rain. It, if you haven't seen last. But the state doesn't require that. The well, state only the state. requires a, a half inch that's or an inch. Though. Yeah. So, so building anyways, to that's, a one that's inch, my opinion. A one inch. You're saying we should go by rainfall more than we should. You by should go by what the state requires, which is, I mean, it, because you're 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 making the systems ten times larger than they need to be. You you actually are doing that. So that's that's just my my professional opinion. Um, we have done it before. We can, we can do it when we think it's possible to do it, if we want to do it. Absolutely. Um, that's just my professional. I just wanted no, to I get that out. No. So, anyways, uh, to go on, um, this is a ten heart zone, and uh, the yellow is the property line. Uh, the green is the uh, wetland line del delineated by Brook Monroe. The orange is the 50, and the pink is the 100. Um, the existing pit is right underneath, uh, outside the 50, but it's close to the 50, somewhere right in here. Um, we're proposing to keep the whole system outside the 50-foot buffer. Uh, the system will be 66 feet. The actual system will be 66 feet from the from the buffer zone. Uh, I am proposing a silt fence. Uh, and it goes right along the 50 towards the rear of the property, and then it cuts up uh, into the house. And of course, it will cut up to the street on the uh, on the uh, east side. Um, we we are proposing uh, because there's over 5,000 square feet. We have a, a, a stormwater permit on this one, uh, and we're proposing a, a tracking system for the for the uh, vehicles coming in and out. Um, we're proposing dewatering pits, which we have a detail. And we're proposing um, the uh, catch basin um, silt sacks uh, on the street, which is right here. You can see it's just down the street from the property line. So those those will remain in place until construction is complete and the, and the grass is um, stabilized. So that's pretty much it. It looks like the system's almost pretty much installed level with what. It's already there for yeah. The top of the system is um, it's hard to see with the, the lighting here. Yeah, it looks like maybe um, 58. Yeah, it's so 58, and we've got a 56, 56 here. So it's a little bit mounted, uh, not much. No walls are required. Mm -hmm. Just going to be grass over it. Like yeah, just grass over there. it. Yep. Is that what there is there now? Yeah, it's all on. John, do you have any comments? Uh, <coughs> Couple, uh, David, do you know whether this is being sold? I do not know that, Joe. It, it appears to be, and um, regardless, the current owner is encroaching over the property line with his shed. Yeah, so that's um, uh, George had mentioned uh, that to me today. Timber, timber wall, the storage structure and the timber steps that go down to the lower level. Um, I, we can't order this particular property owner to do work on the abutters property. So we, we can't ask them to remove it. Uh, what I would suggest, whether he's- John, may, may I say something, John? Yes. Um. But um, that we put a requirement that the current owner or a buyer of the house uh, understands they will not go beyond the property line, which is indicated by the conservation marker post. Um, I, 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 uh, met for, I neglected to mention, John, that the prop, the abutter is the owner. He owns both properties. And I don't know if he has one up for sale or not, but he owns both properties. Okay, that makes it a little easier. I was trying to interject that. I, I, <laughs> right. I should have said that when I was making my... So he owns it? Yes, he does. And he did work within 50 feet? I don't know about what work he has done there. I just know that he owns both properties. All right, then if he owns both properties, I would say we need to have a correct uh, issue here.
Yeah, because those structures definitely are. <laughs> Meaning uh, um, possibly the future. Um, the storage structure itself? So the storage structure is a, um, one of those quantum huts with um, tarp over it. Yeah. So it's, it's not a permanent structure, but the uh, grading that they did to build the retaining wall and the steps and to make the storage structure area somewhat level was obviously work uh, done within the 50-foot buffer in past years. It's been that way for quite a while. So I don't know how the commission wants to handle that considering the fact that um, the <coughs> owner does own the, pro the back property. How long has that been there, that storage structure? I don't know. It's <coughs> been there for as long as we've been designing mm -hmm. the plan. This is when everything catches up to everybody. Yeah. I mean, that area definitely was not lawn at some point. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking at the way the topography is. Is the uh, what about talking to the owner himself? Want to require him to come in and do a filing after the fact? Yeah, I know what's going on with plans can we of the future. Approve it though? I don't think we can approve it, all right. Can we approve the septic? Uh, yeah, the septic needs to be uh, replaced, it's a failed system. Is there somebody um, in the house now? I believe there is, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to sell it, so I don't think they're going to sell it. So um, the Why septic the definitely thing? needs to be replaced. I mean, we would have given them use of the lawn area, so the grapevine and the the shed probably would have been allowed. But I don't know about that storage structure. Well, this is a NOI. I mean, can you make it part of your NOI to remove the storage structure? I mean, if they're in there working now, do you want to make it part of the order conditions to remove since the storage structure? Since he owns it now, maybe before he sells it or something happens in the future, you can't get rid of it. Here's my suggestion. Since he owns the back property, have the storage structure removed and put a conservation easement on the back property that says that it won't be disturbed in the future. They can, they can go down there and walk around, do everything else, but they can't, they can't um, alter it any, any more after they get rid of that storage structure. Yeah, it is in the 50. Uh, I, can't, I can't say <laughs> tonight that he would agree, my client would agree to uh, an easement. Um, you agree to getting the structure removed? Yeah, I would do that, yes. And we talked to him after about the easement. I mean, you still have, you can still talk to him, you still have infringements there with the, with the uh, retaining wall and the steps mm -hmm. and the shed. Yeah. So. <coughs> after that, yeah. You know, it's not going to get done tonight. You can't, you can't say it without the owner's approval. So. Want to continue it to the next meeting and have them come in? How soon are they looking to? It's a failed system. They need to do it. They need to get, especially with the weather, weather like it is now. Um, they would like to do it as quickly as possible. Would they be able to get in and out of the, out of the property after the septic is done without disturbing anything? Well, sure. There's a, a concrete pad on the other side, the driveway. Um, you can get in and out of there? There's a fence there, but it can be removed, yeah. You'll be able to yeah. get in and out of there? Yeah. And we, we have 20 feet from the system, so you could even come in that way. Uh, you have 20 feet to move between the house and the system. Um, um, so you, you, could, you could access back there by both sides. Move the system, and then after the... <coughs> I'm just afraid if we don't get that storage structure out of there now while they're doing it, it'll never get moved. Can't we say they can start the septic after the storage is removed? Yeah, get that I'd out make of that there. as an order of conditions and then we'll figure yeah. out the violation and after. after we deal with that. Yeah. 
So if he's willing to move it now, then we'll deal with the violation part after. And then he can come in and talk to us if he wants about it. I, you know, and I can't answer for the fact that if right. he's willing to move it, I would say that that's a reasonable thing to do. But uh, because my client's not here, um, I don't think that I can answer for him. But uh, I'll let the commission decide what they want to do. You guys are in a way be able to contact him now. Um, I leave my phone in my truck, so <laughs> we, we can either continue it or make it an order of the conditions, and then. Well, you can maybe try to get a hold of them now. We'll stop it and then come back to it. It is your right to make to have him remove it. I right. mean, he did violate. But at the same time, I can't say. No, right, no. right. That that I yeah. get that part. I just want to get. Well, I think we should do that, like Carol said. Yep. Remove it while he. So make it a part system. of the order conditions for the replacement. Is the shed the has system. to get moved, yeah. or the storage structure has to get moved. All right. And I will. Any other questions as far as the system goes? Anything else, John? No. All right. Then I will entertain a motion to close the hearing. Steve, Steve okay with it? Okay. I entertain a motion to close. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I will entertain a motion to issue the standard order conditions. In the stormwater permit, with the stipulation, the storage structure gets removed before installation. I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Thank you. Thank you. If the question was that uh, Lee and then Carol on both? Yes. Motion? Yes, it was. Thank you. Do we have a turn light on? Yep. All right. It's like a oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have 53 South Elm Street. And I assume it's the same presenter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to be up here for a while. <laughs> pull that plan up. Okay. So which right. one is 53? Is that on the wood side or is it on the it's called it's on the uh, Child Street side? On the wooded side the wood where side. the wetland is behind it, yeah. I assume? Yeah. yeah. So uh, once again, my name is Dave Clenner from Collins Civil Engineering Group. I'm here uh, for a septic repair on uh, 53 South Street. Is that South Street? South Elm Street, I'm sorry. Um, once again, the, the property line is marked and designated in yellow. Uh, we have a, a wetland line designated in green, uh, um, uh, delineated by Brook Monroe. We have a, a 50 foot in orange and a 100 foot in pink or red. Um, the septic system is going to the rear of the house. Uh, there's, an, there's leaching pits here and here, very close to the slab of the house. Um, and we're just proposing to come off the 10 feet off, off of the uh, garage slab area uh, for, this, for the system. There's a retaining wall that surrounds the back of the system before it drops off pretty drastically. Um, and all our work will, and that's, that retaining wall pretty much runs along the 50. Um, and all our work will be um, outside the 50 except for a small uh, stockpile area, I believe. Uh, right in here, uh, but there is a uh, retaining wall here, and we'll have a set fence running the very top of that retaining wall. It's going to go all the way across. Uh, it's going to cross. It's going to angle around the steps and go back up towards the street. And it goes all the way up to the street on the uh, north side of the property, right in here. Um, the septic system will be completely outside the 50-foot buffer, and. Um, that's about it. Uh, it. It's a previously disturbed area. It's a lawned area up to the retaining wall, and uh, it's really a tight site. And that's pretty much all we can. All, the only place we can put it. We have a tracking pad um, right here on the uh, south, on the north side of the property. This will be the entrance. The only way to get in and out. 
uh, obviously because the house is much too close to the property line with a fence on the other side. Now, is this failed because it, they're going to sell it? Or this has failed, failed because it's a it's a pit. It's a small little tiny pit. So and you don't, it, and yeah. you don't know if they're selling it or not? I don't know if they're selling it. Yeah, you don't have much room to work anywhere on the site. No, this is a this is a very tight site. We were we were lucky enough to get it, uh, the system outside the the, uh, the fifty foot. So. John, any questions, comments? Uh, I have no issue with this project. It's uh, very tough site to try to squeeze anything in. I mean, it's a definite improvement from what's there. So, anybody else have any questions, comments? Hearing none, then I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. Make motion. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Moved. And I will entertain a motion to issue a standard order of conditions. You're going to make the motion? Oh, sorry. I'll <laughs> make the motion. Second. Please. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. <coughs> Thank you. And next we have on the agenda United Drive, Zero United Drive Notice Intent, continued public hearing for a general stormwater permit. All right. Once again, <laughs> good evening, everybody. My name is Dave Clutter from Collins Civil Engineering Group. Uh, here uh, to uh, represent uh, Zero United Drive. Um, this is a continuance from the last hearing, and um, the last hearing. Uh, since then, we had uh, Mr. Delano out there observing the water table. Uh, there was a difference in a couple of pits, and that difference came from um, at getting this pits right into the center, but it wasn't much. It was uh, three, four, or five inches uh, at worst at some of them. So I went with a shallower um, infiltration system. It was easy to do. I didn't have to raise the site. I, I, I um, abide by the two-foot uh, separation. Um, it was really just an administrative thing to do. Uh, so we, we didn't raise the site, but we did change out some infiltrators, but it still all meets stormwater management, and it still uh, reduces runoff in the 10, 25, 50, and 100 year storm. So we, we meet all the uh, water quality volumes. Um, that was the major change in this. In this. So, uh, but everything else has remained the same. Uh, I, uh, John had mentioned um, at the last meeting about where we're going to store snow, and uh, so I just put on this on these plans um, those snow storage areas. They're they're uh, they're going to be a one percent slope into the parking lot. Everything is going to drain into the parking lot. We have over ten feet of area to put snow in, um, and if you look at any place, that's 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 a lot of space um, to put snow, and a lot of space to make sure that it drains into the parking lot. Once we drain the snow into the parking lot. It goes through our treatment center before it gets discharged into the. So I'm hoping that will suffice um, the snow storage area. Um, those are the only two things that we've added to the plans. Um, I know that uh, Mr. Delino had um, submitted it to the review engineers, uh, and we're still waiting back for comment on them. Um, and uh, so I, I would, I would assume that this is going to get continued until we get the comments back from the so from the uh, review engineers. But I could answer any questions you have um, as of today. John, do you have anything more to add? We're just waiting then. Uh, uh, Alan and Major is reviewing it, and we um, haven't heard back from them, and they're reviewing the most uh, recent revision that uh, Mr. Klenner had mentioned. Okay. So is everything still being, everything's still going to be in the 50 foot the way? Yeah, everything is just the way it was. Everything's still the same way it was. Yeah. Same size building, same size, everything. Everything is, uh, nothing has changed except for elevations on the, uh, on the uh, infiltrator systems. Well, I hate to be the stickler in the, in the mud there, but for this project, like I said before, I hate when people come in front of us, try to stuff something big into something that can't fit the way it's supposed to fit. Working in the 50 foot. I mean, normally, you had, you normally had, I wouldn't have done that, but we had an agreement in place. No, 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 no. You had an agreement to work up to the thing. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. But pavement, 
parking lot, all that stuff is in the 50 foot. Um, this is just my opinion. I don't like the project. I'm not trying to say that bad to you, Mr. Snell, but something can go in there, if it can go in there, fit in there the right way, within the 50 foot, everything's supposed to be, could be perfect, but my opinion, I don't like the project. I'm, I'm not voting for it, so that's just me. Is that based on just working in the 50 foot? Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, people, you come, mm -hmm. not saying you, but everybody, you know, I mean, things happen. We could work with people that work in the 50, but this is such a. So you're willing good to go piece. against the agreement that you made previous? This is, what do you mean? Uh, the, the agreement was that we could work in the 50 foot buffer. No, he said we go, you could work up to the. What was it? To the, the wetland line. No, we wetland line. Yep. Work yeah. up to it. Yeah, we're I'm sorry. Right. We're, yeah, right. We're, yeah but, but, but previously on. disturbed area. But previously put, disturbed area. But putting something in that. And, and I might add. As in that a building or any kind of business or something that you could, you yeah. could still work up to it unpaved because we did give that permission. But if you could paved. fit. Well, yeah. okay, whatever. But if you fit something within that 50 foot zone area, everything and put everything in that zone, then it'd be more suitable, at least for my, for me, my opinion. And I, I might add that, uh, I, uh, I just want to say this once more, that um, we're actually improving the site quite a bit. I understand, but still, we're something else could go in there. Everything just is already- Just improving the site, taking everything out of there is improving the site. Yeah. So we could sit there for another 30 years and it's already been improved from the stuff that's been on there. Which I have no problem. That's been there. I mean, it's been there for 30 years or what, uh, however. We're improving that's the fine. site by following stormwater management. Yeah. We're, we're treating the water I understand. as required by the state. But just having nothing on there is improving the site. You have direct runoff into the wetlands untreated. You over got that, a gravel you got area. that on uh, and any kind of property yeah. in town where it, whether it untreated water over a gravel impervious gravel area. Well, then that could be a fine if you want to do it that way then. Um, we could find Mr. Snow for that. If, if that's what would you find him for? I'm not saying that, but yeah. I'm just saying it's just something that there's, there's nothing. In, there's nothing. There's nothing contaminated there going no. into the wetlands. It's just gravel up to that's the wetlands. True. Yeah. There's nothing to find him for. I'm not saying the what, but I'm no. saying it's just that's okay. the way it is. If it was just open, that's the way it could be. But you're putting something in there. My opinion, so my understanding is that you're just there. against this project because we're infringing too much on the 50. Yes. I'd like to see everything be put okay, in. Okay, I just want that. Uh, I just want that on the record. Well, no, I'd like to see everything be put in, whether it's a house. I know. Uh, yeah, I know. Building I or anything, just I understand. A subdivision or whatever. Yeah. I would like to see everything work within the fifty, just for future. Because oh, you never I, know. I normally, I normally, you know me, I would stay outside the fifty. I understand that. I'm not saying yeah. it's your fault. I'm not blaming anybody. I just I'm just working you know, off the agreement that the town had made. That is true, and I think we might have. We, hey, we learn as we go too, but my opinion. I have the right to not vote on it if I don't want if I don't uh, want to vote on uh, yes on it. Okay. Then no. I won't. I get you. Well, the only difference is that that law was voted in, that regulation was voted in the 70s yeah. to be used discretionary. Mm -hmm. And it's up to the board to allow people to use it when you need to. That's and that's the way the law is written. That's not a problem. Yep. So, you know, we appreciate your support. I understand, no. Okay. And I have no problem with, like, you've been, had it for I don't know how long. We went through a lot for yeah. this whole thing to get, I understand get it where that. it is. And but I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, I th this could pass, and that's fine with me. I mean, just because I say no doesn't mean anybody else is going to say no. No. no I'm just no, saying, no. but, you know, I'm not nothing against you. No. It's just the way that. things do change over the years. Weather's changed. <laughs> bylaws, you know, we got to have bylaws. We've changed things around. So we're just trying to keep a consistent way of how we do things. I like to see everything put in the 50. But it wasn't in a way that way to work. be used that way. And it was discretionary. But I wasn't and around to, I was you know. involved when they did it. Yeah, and, and I wasn't here. I understand. For, for a case like this. Nope, I know. And thank God we were able to work it out with the town and, yep. and John and I worked on setting it up. That's and we should be able to use it. No, that's true. Right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Okay. You, you can use it. Thank you. I like to see something be used, fit in the right way, you know, just yeah. my opinion. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we can wait right. until the next hearing, and hopefully the last batch of plans will be in and approved. And yeah, um, depending on you know how long the uh, you know I think there's a seven day. I have to get the material in seven days before the meeting. Yeah. Uh, depending on when the review engineer gets back to me, uh, will depend on you know. But I, I'd like to continue it to the next hearing, and then we could just find out where we stand at that point.
Okay. I'll entertain a motion to continue. I'll make the motion. Oh. John? Uh, I, I just want to mention that uh, I gave Ellen a major permission to deal directly with uh, Mr. Clinner and keep us in the loop so that we know what the discussions are, but that rather than reporting to us, we reporting to Colin that they feel direct and, and um, to keep the process moving along. I, I definitely appreciate that, John. That's uh, that seems to be the, the most efficient way instead of having some middle ground yep. here. Yep. Okay. Did you have something? Nope. Oh, I thought you did. Okay. Anything else? Not. Motion to continue. I'll make the motion. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. See ya. <coughs> Um, next, we have 63 East Center Street, Notice of Intent. Continued hearing for a failed septic system. All right. Um, once again, Dave Clinton from Collins Civil Engineering Group. <laughs> this will be my last one, I promise you. <laughs> we um, should get them all done at once. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, this was uh, continued from the last hearing because we didn't have a DEP file number. And... Um, so now we do have a DEP file number. I, I hope that uh, uh, Mr. Delano has it, and if he doesn't, I can leave the DEP file number with you tonight. Uh, but we did receive one. Nope, uh, we've got it. It's on the record. And uh, we did add uh, some roof drain right here in the back. Um, and I have a feeling that you're going to probably want me to enlarge it because <laughs> um, I designed this for one inch of runoff over the whole um, proposed addition. Uh, so I, I've designed this re, uh, based on the requirements from the state. Uh, and what happens is, in the hundred year flood, it backs up into the uh, into the downspouts, and then there's an overflow that flows. Uh, and and what and roof runoff is considered clean wet runoff. Mm -hmm. So you can go onto the grass, you can go directly into the wetlands. The state requ uh, the state um, designates it as clean runoff. So any overflow is going to go out the down over the downspout outflow and over the grass and into the wetlands. But I do provide uh, the water quality volume that the state requires. And this is for septic repair. Septic repair. Yep. So th yeah, this is just a septic yep. repair. Oh, uh, plus the addition. Yeah. They're doing right. the addition, addition for the garage. The, yeah. Right. But it's not new construction. It's not a. Not, not the undisturbed house. location. It's, just, you know, it's yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, it's pretty at least disturbed. It's on driveway that it has no, um, the, you know, to that you know, that um, street that goes to the garage. We'll be cutting that driveway out, putting grass in. So we're actually uh, getting rid of some of the impervious and just adding some clean runoff from the roof. Anybody have any other comments, questions? Well, I would like to see the upgrade of the hundred year. Storm. If that's uh, we're really tight between the house and the garage, and you're supposed to be 10 feet from the foundation. Um, is going to be a problem? If yeah. Is, if yeah, it is going to be a problem, there, I understand. Yeah, there would be a problem down. because we would have to make this system probably four times larger, which would put us too close to the foundation and too close to the garage okay, foundation. Okay, so we can work with you. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I. I don't want to see it. I, I can hear where both parties are coming from here on this, and, and my mm. opinion is going to be that on new construction, you're talking about a totally improved site where there's nothing already disturbed. This is an improvement to what is existing there on an already disturbed site. Um, it is. That's a, I, that's a good way I, to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think putting these in is a good idea since we can get it done all at once and yeah. at this point. That's fine. Um, if it could be designed instead of a half inch to a one inch rainstorm spec. That would be a, a better improvement. I'm not saying I, I mean would want to see a hundred year yeah. for something on. I could certainly do a one inch. Well, I right, mean, we, yeah, we could just. It, uh, it's just a matter of adding a few flow diffusers. I mean, it's right. I mean, I just yeah. like Lee said, uh, we're yeah. getting a lot more storms with a lot more rain, a lot longer yeah. duration. Normally, a, a one inch is like in an ACEC area, or uh, if you got um, uh, if you got a high pollutant area in, a, in an environmental site. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I went with a half inch. But I can do a, I can do a one inch rainstorm on this. Yeah, one inch would be. Yeah. That would be fine. Like you said, it's the whole thing's not a. I understand it's not a whole 
new right. construction. Are you are adding something to yeah. it, so. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, can we can improve we just, it? And, uh, that could just, be a minor. Yeah. Because it's just a, it's just going to be well. adding another row mm -hmm. yeah. to this. So um, it's. Uh, I don't know if you can approve it tonight. And then just yeah. John, anything that. else on your end? Well, I have no issue. You can yeah, just make that part of the order conditions. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anybody have anything else? If not, I'll entertain a motion to close the hearing. I'll make the motion. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. I will entertain a motion to issue a standard order of conditions with the addition of the roof drain change. I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Okay. Thank you. I'm out of here. <laughs> You're done. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the colors on your ma on your map. I like. Oh, that. you're welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to get them on the computer screen too. Someday I'll get there. <laughs> well, they're very helpful to me. Okay. Next on the agenda, we have the off West Street, Old West Street. Um, I know John was trying to get out there to check the line and and do that. Are we making any progress to that? Is there anyone there representing it? No, we do not. All right. Um, they had asked for a continuance to um, the first meeting in May. In May. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think they're in a rush, then. So that would be May 3rd? Yeah. Okay. I'll obtain a motion to continue to May 3rd. I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. And before we do the administrative discussion, we have a. Yeah. I, I was just wondering if, if 71 Sunset Ave extension had made it onto the agenda, but I, don't, I didn't see it on there. Uh, John, 71 Sunset Ave extension? Do you know anything about that one? Was that. I thought we did Sunset Ave. Well, we did this, the road last time. Right. That was um, that was for the patio and the relocation of the leach field. It was a minor project change request. Minor project change. Yeah. Yes. So um, it's not on the agenda, but uh, I'm aware of what it was. The patio is outside the hundred foot buffer, so they really don't even have to. Uh, Deal with the patio part of it. We lose it again. Yeah, then it fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I think he froze. I think they froze. That's yep. Connection. Hold on. Let me get this reconnected. There we go. All right, Judge. Don't know why we're having trouble with that tonight, but we're back. <laughs> Did you hear any of it, or uh, over? we we heard that the um, patio was outside the hundred. Yeah, and um, so I had suggested to uh, the owner to ask for a minor project change, and I forgot to put it on the agenda, so I apologize for that. Um, and the only reason I suggested it is that in case anybody ever asked why we approved a plan originally without a patio and then when the as built comes in showing the rest of the property and uh, a, a, um, that it would be a technicality but that the commission had approved a minor project. Yeah. So I'm recommending that it be done if you want to take it up tonight or we could do it at the next meeting. John, um, 
Steve Wyman, just the second part of that was the uh, the leach field as well, the um, relocation of that. It's shifted backward, back a little. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And also, they did have the septic system um, constructed in, in a slightly different area than the original, but it's only minor. Is it within and that'll be noted on an as built eventually. It's outside yeah. of the fifty foot. It's outside it's the fifty. Yeah. Okay. Because we have um, we had to put up the markers to mark the floor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can deal with that next meeting just as a minor project change. Put it on the agenda, and then you'll be all set. Okay. But yeah, it won't require a filing or anything. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're glad we could get you out of here and you didn't have to sit <laughs> through the rest of the. Have a great night. You too. Okay, next on the agenda, John, we have Farm Road and Molly Lane Certificate of Compliance request. Yes, the um, developer left town without doing the uh, COC for the whole subdivision. Oh. And we've received the um, uh, Certificate of Compliance uh, certification from the engineer plus the uh, as built and it has been recommended for approval by the planning board for the next annual town meeting and so i'm recommending that um, the commission issue a coc for the subdivision it's been there long enough yeah yeah i mean <laughs> and if the planning board's willing to accept it then we'll sounds good all right then i'll entertain a motion to issue a certificate of compliance for farm road and molly lane i'll make that motion second Moved and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Um, 373 Crescent Street, Certificate of Compliance. Still not ready. Okay, we'll continue that one. <laughs> and 586 Manley Street, uh, permit violation and fines. This is the site up on Manley Street where the contractor did a uh, large the large alteration of the property without a permit and, it, and at the meeting last meeting I had recommended um, finding them for the uh, violation and I sent out a letter for $142,200 and asked that the owner of the property contact me within two days to discuss it. He got back to me and he is asking uh, for some relief, which is about half of it, which is $71,100. And um, I said I would come before the commission and ask if uh, they would consider that as a, an, an option to pay the whole thing. Plus, he's going to have to correct the, the situation. And if I recall correctly, uh, he is planning to have a whole new plan submitted that will correct all of the violations. So um, if you were to consider finding him only the 71,100, that uh, it would also require uh, rectifying the violations in some form, either a whole new site plan that the commission eventually would approve, providing it was in compliance with all the stormwater regulations. Um, so it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't be, you're okay and you can continue the way you have been, it's gonna require him to uh, offer up a new site plan or an after the fact filing. Is this the trailers? This is the one that's down right next to the um, solar farm oh that one okay yep so yeah i'd take the half, half. I'd, I'd i'd approve a half and reducing the fine in half with a new filing with a new and yeah. improving the site that sounds like it better than nothing yeah i mean it, a lot better than legal bills having to go after somebody for it too and he's going and he's going to have to do the re right fix. so yeah do you I need a motion for that john yeah I'll entertain a motion. How do you feel about it? I agree. Okay. Steve, any comments, questions? 
Okay, hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the negotiated fine with a new plan. I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. And next we have invoices to sign or other business. And I think the only thing here I have is an invoice um, for surveying services for Pratt's Landing for the property lines that yep. have been done. And that's for $300. And I think that is all we have. Anybody have any questions, comments? Yep. I'll entertain a motion to approve the $300. I'll make that motion. Second. Move the second. All those in favor? Um, Aye. Aye. Ten, ten, ten. Oh. Could um, Steve second that? Yeah. I, uh, yep. Possible conflict of interest. Oh, that's You're right. in a butter yeah. to the <laughs> surveying that was done. So. Oh, really? Yep. That's we'll have Steve right. second right. and Lee and Carol right. will so abstain from voting. That's right. And so it was unanimous, John. All three of us yeah. approved. Right. So anybody have anything else? I do. Yes. Um, I have to inform the commission that I turned in my retirement papers effective July 16th, 2022. Well, congratulations. So, I'm not congratulating you. No. <laughs> John, you're not old enough to retire. You moving down there, Tom, uh, John? I, I don't think he's ready for Tennessee yet. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, so, okay. so what are we supposed to do about this, John? Uh, I'm going to wait to see you. There'll be a new search for <laughs> a new conservation agent. No. I've been here long enough to realize that John was our first, and that took a while to get one. So, does John? Do you have anybody recommend that you recommend? It, it, it's hard for me to hear what the background. Like, I do guess we really have to work on getting some speakers that work. <laughs> we're crying. Yeah, we're, we're all realizing that we're going to miss you and, and Lee's question was was there any names or recommendations or people you could send this way uh, this is my plan I'm, I'm going to be sending uh, the town administrator um, some alternative strategies for replacing me and also providing a transition into let's say next year so that's that the uh, process would go smooth. So I haven't got any definite uh, suggestions yet to the county administrator, but I will do that and I'll make sure the commission has a copy of it. Sounds good. Well, as long as you're coming back from Tennessee, I guess we'll. Sounds good, but it doesn't make it good though. Yeah, I leave Friday. <laughs> but, but I was supposed to fly out Sunday Jeez. at five o'clock in the morning from Logan. We were on the shuttle from the parking lot to the terminal and we received a notification that they were canceling all the flights. Oh yeah, that's it. You were on JetBlue? No, on Southwest. Southwest. Wow. That's that big thing that's going I on. Had to yeah. be in Tennessee. Um Let's see, so it was Sunday. I had to be in Tennessee Monday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. So our flight would have got in early on Sunday, and I uh, would have been able to be here for the Monday deadline. The uh, flight out from Logan the following day couldn't guarantee that I would get here in time. So we rented a car and drove oh. from Logan to Nashville. Oh wow. Twenty one hours. Oh. 
driving in a car with only stopping for gas mm -hmm. and two uh, fast food breaks to eat because we didn't want to stop and go through a restaurant process of waiting and being seated and all that. So yeah. um, we were pushed. Wow. So we got here in time. So I'm watching my grandkids like I'm supposed to them. <laughs> well, awesome. I'm glad you made it. Wow. I will tell you, it was a long haul. <laughs> Jeez, I got to tell, yes, tell you something else. Oh. So, I, to get back to the other, I, I do have some plans. I will uh, alert the commission what those are as far as to help with the transition and all that. So, I do have some ideas. Alrighty. Well, we'll look forward to it when you get back. All right. Anybody, anything else? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, when we're, we're adjourned. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night.